These kids have never been happier. I have to be honest. <laughs> Hi, Raina. Hi. How are there we you go. That's, that's rather tepid applause for such a lovely young lady, you guys. Come on. <laughs> I agree, but coming from you, it was a little creepy. That's all I'm saying. You clap. What's creepy about high Raina and a little applause? I don't that's know. All. You clap creepy. It comes out of your hands. <laughs> You're a weirdo. So, Raina, welcome to the Kevin and Bean Show. How thank are you, my dear? Thank you. I'm doing great. I'm really, You really are excited. from uh, hometown Anaheim. I you am. are a bartender, and you want to be Miss Double December 2014 I... to represent the Kevin and Bean Show. Why? Very badly. Um... Mainly because I like to do new things, and this is kind of new for me. I kind of just got into the bartending industry like about a year ago, so it's kind of new putting myself out there and using myself as... Uh, Bait? Marketing. <laughs> I'm sorry, marketing. Marketing. <laughs> That's what I meant. I, I can't imagine how great the tips are for a um, bartender as pretty as you. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, you must, you must do very well being a bartender, I, I would imagine. I do really, really well. I do. I'm I'm very very happy and it's just working great and this has been an awesome year for me. I'm just like so um appreciative of all the support of my family and friends and new friends on Instagram. So this is just a great great experience. I'm so excited. I don't know how to handle a happy positive person. It's just you really <laughs> stand out in this room, I'll tell you. <laughs> Um, Kevin, what did we learn about Raina and her questionnaire online at kirok.com? Well, if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? A lot of people say invisible, uh-huh. but th- mostly it's for sex. Right. Girls want to get into the locker room to see Tom Brady or whatever. Mm-hmm. Guys, of course, you know where guys want to go everywhere that there's a woman. Uh, but you say so that you can get onto any plane and sit in first class and travel the world for free. Yes. That's uh, a different yes, reason. Yes. I like I that ha- reason. I have plenty of sex, so that's not an issue. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. So that'll, have that, that'll happen anyway. Um, but, you know, I love love to travel, so imagine to travel if you first were a, class every time. Now, I, let me just let me okay. just stop you right there. Yeah. Why be invisible and waste all the time on planes if you're actually going to have a superpower? Why not teleportation so that you could just instantly be in other countries without having to go through the plane? Because I actually love the experience of traveling. I like flying, and I think like just. Huh. Anything okay, but if you're invisible, you know you luxury. you get no service from the flight attendant. You know that if you're invisible. Bean. I want you to think this through, Raina. Bean, what, what well, is this? The Inquisition? Get, What's happening? I would get on and then be uninvisible. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Go and she I could print control out my it. Ticket, you sure, know, sure. Print out my ticket when I check in. No one will see me, and then I get on the train and I have everything with me All right. on okay. the train on the plane. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> however, it train, goes. plane, or car. Sure. However, <laughs> uh, if you were to be a porn star, what would your made-up name stage name be? Candy cans. Mm-hmm. Good. What's your talent? Lap dancing. Mm-hmm. An experience in that world. Um, I took S Factor as a as a pole dancing fitness class. Mm-hmm. And oh, I did okay. That for about a year. So I got pretty high up on a level, and I could do some tricks on the pole. So I couldn't obviously bring my pole with me because I do have a portable one. But, we could provide one. Right? That'd sure. be great. It'd be awesome. I've got one. So I just oh. did the lap portions part, which That was, was my so joke, tall. Bean. You don't so. have to put a, more of a point on it, so to speak. <laughs> so so you're on. going to be lap dancing on stage in Fullerton tomorrow. Yes. Then. Yes. I suspect that's going to be popular. All right. Describe so. yourself at 140 characters or less. Did she hit the limit, Kevin? Uh, I think yeah. she may have just been right at it. Did you pay attention to it or no? <laughs> I did, but like uh, when I first did it, I kind of was, n- I would have never in a million years thought I would have got picked. So I oh, kind of just did it for fun. So you didn't and pay any, any attention to it, really? Yeah, I just kind of did it last minute and that's Spontaneous, the best compulsive, I could come up with. hardworking, yeah. loyal, loving, caring. Uh, Beautiful, inside and out. <laughs> Bell, please. Yes, indeed. Thank indeed. you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So you'll be there tomorrow, vying for Miss Double December 2014. If you win, of course, you represent the show throughout the calendar year of 2014. You come to Acoustic Christmas and the Weenie Rose and April Foolishness, singles parties, breakfast with, and whatnot. Um, um, you, you like K-Rock music? I do. I love K-Rock music. I'm going to a corn concert on Saturday. So. Oh, good for you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, tell us, tell us about your boobs. How what's the what's their pedigree? My babies <laughs> are pedigree? two and a half years old. Mm-hmm. Two, and two and a half. Two and a half. That's a good age. Yeah, they're five fifty cc's. I'm exactly a double D, so I'm like the perfect fit. 
All right. <laughs> All right. She's an outstanding model, an outstanding representation for what Miss Double D needs to be. Yes. If you want to vote for Raina, and why wouldn't you? You just head on over to krock.com and cast your vote. And uh, you're doing great in the voting, by the way. You have a really? lot of fans. I don't know if that's Yay. your Instagram people or what, but they are definitely turning up. So you're doing you're doing great. So keep it up until tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank my friends and everything for that. It's It's been crazy. Thank you, Raina. We yeah. appreciate it having you in. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. When the lights fade out, all the sinners crawl, so they dug your grave in the masquerade. We'll come crawling out at the mess you made. Don't want to let you down, but I am hellbound. Oh, this is all for you. Don't want to hide the truth. No. Mary Kill and why? Kevin Bean or Ralph? Let's see. Well, I'd have to f Kevin, because then we could have really loud sex and piss off my old neighbors, because I hate them. <laughs> like they needed to hurry up and move to heaven or hell, wherever they're supposed to go. And then I would marry Bean because he lives on an island, and I think that's awesome. And I could always say I love Baxter here. <laughs> and then I'd have to kill. Ralph and I hate to say it, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I can't I can't like Ralph. Tell us an embarrassing story. An embarrassing story would be at my Halloween party last year or two years ago. I was super, super drunk and I decided to do pull tricks on my pole in the game room and I just did a spin and threw up. <laughs> in front of like fifty people. Who's it was a good time. Who's your favorite K-Rock band or artist? I'd have to say No Doubt because she's from Anaheim. She went to my high school, Loera, and she's awesome. I love, love No Doubt. Go Lightning Bolts. <laughs> What's the worst pickup line ever used on you? Worst pickup line. Um, I was at a supermarket with my friend, and some guys came up to me and asked me where I could find some Chi Chi Lala. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> Where's the strangest place you've had sex? Strangest place would be on a hike in Big Bear at a peak where we both peaked. <laughs> hey, I'm Raina. Don't forget to vote for me. I really want to be your Miss Double December for 2014.